This is CNN, the most trusted name in news. With the revelation that high-level advisors close to President Trump were in constant communication with Russians known to U.S. intelligence during the campaign, the issue of the president's tax returns becomes more and more critical. As our political analyst Carl Bernstein reported in the last hour, an investigation could touch on potential financial ties, if any, between Mr. Trump and Russia. The tax returns could also answer a lot of questions about that. As you know, he's not releasing them. However, Congress could actually make it happen. Phil Mattingly explains how. The only one that cares about my tax returns are the reporters. Tax returns. Tax returns. Tax returns. Donald Trump's tax returns. People didn't care. They voted for him. Aren't going to be released anytime soon. Let me make this very clear. Most Americans are, are very focused on what their tax returns will look like while President Trump is in office, not what his look like. But even as Trump's staff sticks to the line that they won't be released until the completion of an ongoing audit, there is actually a way they could become public. Well, I'm trying to do uh, in the Congress what the president couldn't do for himself, and that is give us his tax returns. Here's how it would work. Two committees in Congress have jurisdiction over tax issues. The chairman of those committees, through an obscure 1924 law, actually have the ability to obtain any American's tax returns, including Donald Trump. And they have the power to reveal that tax information for any American, including Donald Trump. It's been done before, when it was decided for the public good that lawmakers would vote to release a staff report about then-President Richard Nixon's confidential tax return information. And that, according to Congressman Bill Pascrell, is the same reason he believes the committee should pursue releasing Trump's taxes now. The American people are on the right path. I'm just a conduit here to get the information out to the American people. They deserve to know this. They deserve to know if their president is dealing in the foreign affairs of other country and whether other countries are dealing in our foreign affairs. And if you don't think I'm talking about Russia, you're wrong. But, at least for the moment, it's unlikely to happen. And here's why. It's Democrats who are clamoring to use this power. And Democrats don't control anything on Capitol Hill. That law directs us to look at tax administration, uh, only look at private uh, tax returns in the case of the tax administration. That is clearly not the case here. Congressman Kevin Brady chairs the House Ways and Means Committee and has pushed back hard on the idea that this lines up with the intent of the law at all. If you let Congress begin rummaging around for political purposes in the tax returns of the president, what stops them from doing it to everyday Americans? It, that would be an abuse of power. Brady's point, despite Trump breaking nearly 40 years of precedent on candidates releasing their tax returns, there is no specific administrative reason that would force the committee to act. And until that arises, don't expect Congress to provide any more insight than Trump himself has up to this point. It's none of your business. And, Anderson, the question is, what happens next if Republicans aren't willing to go along with this? I asked Congressman Pascrell that, and he said, look, there's no necessarily a plan B. There's an expansion of plan A. He's in this for the long term, the long game, and he believes that every time kind of a new revelation comes out related to Donald Trump and his relationship with Russia or other foreign countries, that that could help build support for this. He said he's been talking to members on both sides of the aisle. He's been talking to his leadership, and it's worth noting, the Senate committee also has the power to do this. He's been talking to them as well, but he recognizes it is a long path forward, and as I noted in the piece, Chairman Brady, Kevin Brady makes very clear he does not believe this lines up with the intent of the law, and until that changes, it's very unlikely, at least on the House side of things, it's going to change anytime soon. Yeah. Anderson? Phil Madeline Fuller, thanks very much. Joining me now is former Labor Secretary and US, uh, UC Berkeley Professor of Public Policy Robert Reich, author of Saving Capitalism for the Many, Not the Few, and with us again, senior political commentator and Trump supporter Jeffrey Lord. Secretary Reich, I mean, what do you make of this? Is this a step? Uh, that Congress should take, trying to obtain the president's tax returns? Uh, I do think it is a very important uh, step that Congress should take. Uh, and in terms of it being an administrative matter, I can't imagine a more important administrative matter than making sure that our president has not been engaged with a foreign power, in this case Russia, uh, in 
basically loading the election and, and turning the election to his favor. Now, I'm not saying that he's done that, but a lot of evidence is accumulating, Anderson, and every day that goes by, the distrust of the public grows. And I think one important step that Donald Trump has to make uh, is to disclose his taxes. Uh, in 2008, for example, Donald Trump Jr. told a real estate conference that Russia, Russian money is pouring into the Trump organization and that a disproportionate cross-section of their assets come from Russia. Uh, he, presumably he was talking about Russian tycoons and oligarchs. Well, that's important information. That would show up in the tax returns because you can see in terms of interest on uh, loans exactly who is who is uh, who, who Trump uh, is but owes money to? I, mean, I can't what, imagine a more important set of issues. Here. My understanding of what he was actually referring to was, I guess, some a very rich Russian guy bought one of the a mansion from the Trumps in Florida, paid a huge amount of money for it. Um, my understanding that's what he was referring to, but again, we don't know for sure because we, we don't really know. The, the extent of any business dealings they may or may and, not And we not need have. to know. I mean, Anderson, if this were just an idle uh, kind of uh, question about, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have tax returns? It's too bad Donald Trump for the, you know, violated and broke the tradition for 40 years. That would be one thing. But we are in the midst of a potential constitutional crisis. There, there are pos there's possibly treasonous behavior in terms of staff members, or perhaps Donald Trump himself, working with Russia and Russian operatives uh, to actually interfere in the United States' okay. 2016 presidential election on behalf